Show the guys when it's really big, long your beard, won't we? Look like a small man. <laughs> right, you sit there. Do you want them cookies? Yeah, yeah. Do you want them cookies, Cereal? Yeah. yeah. Do you not want them ones? No. Okay, do you want to swap with Keegan then? And I'll get you the different ones. Right, you eat them. Good boy. Go get your spoon. Do, 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 do. There you go. Mummy's kitchen's upside down because it's getting decorated, isn't it? It's getting painted last night. Look, have you noticed? The mirror's gone. Did you notice? Yeah. <laughs> it's upside down at the minute. It's getting to decorate. Right, Carl's going to just brush your hair before I play some different cereal. Right. No, no, no. Oh, sorry, son. Don't hurt. No, no, no. It's a massage brush. Let me see. Oh, it looks handsome. Holly and Johnny don't want cereal this morning, so I am doing them some toast. So, yeah, that's what Cody and John don't want this morning. Keegan's having cookie crisp for breakfast this morning. He don't eat bread, guys, Keegan. So, he don't eat anything with bread. He don't like bread at all. So, I'm doing the boys' toast. Um, so, John, John, do you want two? Yeah. Yeah? Ask Goldie, does he want two? You nearly finished? Yeah. 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 Right. Come on, boys, your toast. Is that good? Yeah. yeah. Um, Isabel, your toast is nearly done. Yeah, did you grab a proper airbrush? Because this one's not good for your hair. Yeah, I know. Have you got another one? Yeah. Right, no, the toast is still um, 
doing. But can you do me a big favour? Can you run upstairs and get the other brush? Have you finished, Kiko? Yeah. Goodbye, goodbye, bye, she toast. Come on, you need to eat something. Right, Keegan, your bus is going to be here in five minutes. Come on, darling. Have a drink as well before you go to school. Come on. Good boy. Natalia's not awake yet. That's why you can tell you some toast when she comes down. Right, Keegan. Awake. Can you look through that window see is your bus here yet? Have a peek. See, is it fit? Is it there? No. Your bus is here. Open the door, son. Open the door. Like wind in our sails Hold on tight I can smell the shore It's right in front of us If we just hold on tight This vision that I saw Is getting closer every dawn five minutes and have well I can't have a coffee because I've run out <laughs> so I'm having a cup of tea and um, so yeah school runs done all kids are in school done and now I can just and breathe and sit down for five minutes so good morning good morning guys today 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 we're going to take Ryla for an air cut aren't we Ryla yeah so, Riley's going for a haircut. Really need it, don't you? All the kids need a haircut, guys. All of them. Keegan will not let a barber's cut his hair. Neither will John Joe. John Joe will say, yeah. Remember last month when you got your haircut? You took John Joe. What did you do with Riley? Tell the guys what he'd done last month. He said he was going to get his haircut, bud. He says it. He said, right, mum, I want to go and get my haircut. So, he's going to let a barber's do it. And then we get to the barber's and it doesn't happen. He says, no, no, no. So I'm gonna do John Joe, Cody's, and Keegan's. Keegan will not let a barber do it. Oh, guys, the last time we took him, oh my days, oh my days. This is what put us off, and we, I think because he's that little bit older now. This was about a year ago, two years ago. We took him, guys. Um, I think it was around about COVID time. I think might have been long, might have been just after. We took him. Oh, guys, and do you know they're like they have the combs in like that solution. They have like the combs in that solution, um, and Keegan got hold of it, and he threw it everywhere. It went everywhere. He just picked it up and just went, and I was like, "Oh!" I said, "I'm so sorry." He went, "No, do you know what? The guy was so good as well. He he was so like he was so how can I explain it? So understanding. He said, "No, it's fine. It's fine." Um, so Keegan does not like the barber's touching his hair. He'll pick something up and he'll throw it, guys. Um, I think it's because it's a different purse. There was one certain lady on here that Keegan let do his hair from a young age. Um, but she retired. And since then, I can't find anyone else to cut his hair. Um, he really, really connected with her. She'd done his hair ever since being young. Um, but we can't find a barber that he will connect with. So I just do the best that I can do for his hair because he'll just pick stuff up and just throw it and he'll have a big tantrum, guys. So I just cut it for now because it just makes life easier. It doesn't get so stressed and, yeah, it's what works for Keegan. Um, So what I'll do is I'll do his hair probably tonight or... To oh, my hand just shake that. Um, or tomorrow um, because it is Friday tomorrow. Shannon's just put my eyelashes on for me, guys. Just put some eyelashes on. Shannon goes, Mom, can I do your makeup? I said, no. No, because she puts well too much on me, guys. I like to put just a bit of makeup on, you know. She goes, I do your makeup. I said, no. It's only, I, I just put foundation on, do my eyebrows. That's it, basically. On a little bit of lipstick, that's it. Um, but Shannon, she'll do the full work. It's like I'm going to a nightclub. <laughs> no, no, Shannon. No, no, no. Um, so, yeah. Riley's nearly sorted. He's just cleaning his Jordans, aren't you, Riley? Yeah. He's giving his Jordans a good clean there. Have you got it all off? Yeah. 
when we went for a walk the other day and the woods had gone muddy, didn't they? Yeah. They got really, really muddy, so. They're looking brand spanking new then, Riley. But well, we're going to have to hurry up, okay? Nelly's yeah. dressed now. I've dressed Miss Nelly. Um, and then we're going to get going. I'm going to try. I'm going to be really, really good today. I'm going to try and get two vlogs up today. So what I'll do is I'll film the family one. And I'll try and film a haul for Aldi as well. Um, whereas last week I forgot to like um, put the total in. But I'll do it again this week and see if I can still get the around about the same price in Aldi. Um, I don't buy my meats and stuff there because it's expensive, um, I think. I want, like the big load of like chicken, um, chicken legs. I think they're quite a decent price. You get so much for your money um, in the chicken legs in Aldi. The ch in the chicken legs in Aldi. It makes sense, woman. Um, the big pack of chicken legs in Aldi. I think they're a decent price, to be honest with you guys. <laughs> I think they're a really good price. Um, but I just... Riley, just, I think that TV's come on. It's come off pause. We just are going to get copyrights. So just turn it off, Farmer. Um, so yeah, I'm going to see if I can beat last week's prize. That prize was really good. It came up to 110, I think it was. Can't remember. Can't remember what it was. I'll have to watch the thingy back. I think it was 110. So, and I've got so much fruit and veg. I've got, um, fridge stuff. I got rice. I got pastas. And I want to see if I can, because when I was going to the tail, it seemed loads to me, but when I got to the tail, I thought, right, it's going to come up to about 100, 140 or something like that. And it come up to 109 and I'm like, ooh, ooh, I'm well under budget. So I was happy. So I'm going to see if I can do it again this week and not go over because I'm trying not to like, I'm trying to save guys because um, obviously summer's coming and we've got, we want to do so many things. So I'm trying to like stay under budget with shopping. So we'll see if we can do that. We do need a freezer shop today as well. We definitely need Iceland. We used our last meal last night. So the freezer is completely empty. So I do need a freezer shop and fresh shop as well and fridge stuff. So what I do is I do that in Alda because it ends up cheaper. Um, if I did it in Iceland, like got fridge stuff and freezer stuff, then it, it goes, it's quite sky high to be honest with you guys. And I don't get as much in my fridge. Like my fridge was full last week from Alda. If I did that in Iceland, my fridge wouldn't be as full as I would in Alda, as I would shop in Alda. It wouldn't fill my fridge as much Iceland and it'd be sky high more. So what I do is do my fresh and fruit and fridge stuff in Alda and then I'll go and do a big freezer shop because I do need a big freezer shop today and I'll do that in Iceland. So yeah, I'll do that because I like to buy like stuff in bulk that will last us for two weeks, three weeks in my freezer um the frozen stuff in Alda you don't really get for a, a large family you don't really get so don't get the frozen stuff from there like Iceland warehouse do the bulk for a size of our family so I need to stop yapping now I've been yapping for seven minutes but anyway let's get going what do you want done to your hair uh, what are you having are you having what Alan do adds yeah. what's that called can you remember oh. a mohawk so guys there's a new hairstyle out. Come here, Ryla, tell the guys about the new hairstyle. So, it is a mohawk. So, if you know what a mohawk is, then comment down below. It's different. I was showed one. It's different types of ones. Is it? Yeah. yeah. You cut the back of it in. It, yeah, it's like you have, like, are you taking him to the same one you took Alan, Alan? Yeah. Wow. wow. Are you taking him to the same one you took Alan, Alan? <laughs> That's the thing with having a son called Alan and having a husband called Alan. Um, <clears throat> yeah, there's different types. There's like, if you remember back in the day, punk rocker style. Well, the guy showed me punk rocker style, like we're all spiked up. And I said, Alan, no, no, <laughs> didn't I, Alan? I said, no, baby, I'll. like the spiky one. Or you can have it all like blended in. So we'll show you, Riley. So is that what you want done, Riley, Mohawk? What a name. What a name for a hairstyle. Are you getting a more hug? Yeah, I'm going to get one. <laughs> Are you keeping up with the young ones? Yeah. I'm going to get one. What? Hubs is getting a more hug. He's not really. He's oh, not yeah. really. No, you're not. Yeah. No, you're not. 
Might you're not getting a mohawk. Just, your hair's too short anyway, yeah. and don't you need to? You haven't got any oh, hair. Oh no, because you can do what? That's what they do. Cut, 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 cut close up there. Yeah. And then basically gel it up like that. Oh. So Hope says getting a mohawk as well. Um. So yeah, we're gonna go and get a hair's hair's done first for Hope's and Ryla. Oh, I might um skin bald it. Do you reckon? Right. No. Yeah. No, now I sound like a bossy. You're making me sound like a bossy right now. Well, should I um, get a fringe? It's not even long enough for a fringe, is it? You only need it a little bit shaved at the back. That's all you need, really, don't you? You know, just because it's got a grown wrap at the back. Should I have to do it, shouldn't I? No, I can't. I can't do yours properly. It's like the older boys. Like, I used to do... Remember when i done all your hairs mm. on, um, in Covid? <sighs> Well, like you put a bowl in a bowl and just cut round. No, it did not. It weren't that bad. <laughs> it was not that bad. No, no, no. And now I'm really good at it, you know, now. I've got better than the were. Yeah. Got better than the were. But anyway, let's stop yip yapping and let's go and get these boys' hair cut. I don't have to party to have fun, you see. I got different hobbies and that's all I need. Some say life is boring. She's like, I've been here before, Mama. I've been here before. <laughs> you came with Big Brother the other week, didn't you? Hey. What's that? What's that man doing? What's he doing? Is he shaving hair? Hey. <laughs> Look at her face, huh? <laughs> Find that very fascinating, don't you? They're cutting his hair. Yeah. Look ahead, the sea is calm, and I know we've been through a lot, but just wait. Mm, wait for better days to come and carry us like wind in our sails. Rock. <laughs> I don't have to party to have fun, you see. I got different hobbies, and that's all I need. Some say life is boring, but I disagree. I wake up and live my dream. Someday soon, I'm gonna make it. Princess, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> brother. brother, yeah, he's over there. His hair's done now. There's brother. Be careful, you're gonna go back, darling. Good girl. Oh, careful. Can you get up? Want me to help you? Do you want me to help? Mama, help? No. Okay. I think she just likes looking out the door, Ryla. She doesn't want to sit down. Well, she's looking at the um, circus thing now. 
come on, princess, because someone could come in and you could get hurt. You could get banged. We don't want you to get a bang, do we? Brother. Just coming through. Okay, now. Guys, look at my hair. It's all gone wild. Does it lead us back to Morrison's? Yeah. Are we alright to cross here? Yeah. Um, so, we're going to go and get some lunch from Morrison's. Everybody's got their hair cut. Um, Natalia was offered a lolly, guys, but she had a big tantrum, so I had to stand outside with her. Um, I'm not one of them guys that just say it, you know, say they don't. She's I not 21 again. You actually mm -hmm. do. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not one of them that just say it and then give me children a lolly the next day. I don't like lollies, guys. I do not like lollies. They scare me. Um, so, you know, she's not missing out on anything that she's never had. All the kids neither. They're not missing out on something they've never had. So, there's nothing to miss out on because they've never had lollies. I just find I just find them very scary and dangerous, and especially what seen my brother go through with a big round lolly type thing. Just make notes. Do me coffee for me. Got it perfect. Delicious, mm. Ryla. You gonna enjoy that? Looks really Went delicious. For the whole chicken, both got the same. And Miss Nelly got chicken nuggets. All fed. We've all had some lunch now, so our batches are recharged. Um, with little Miss Nelly, guys, all she keeps doing is just like nipping at her food. Like all she had of her lunch today is one chip, two chips, and two nuggets, two nuggets, something like that to her. She's, she's been really picky lately. The last time I went through this was with Ethan, because um, he was my second barn, and there's only 13 months between my first barn and my second barn, so it was all new to me, and obviously I've not been through it for how long is Ethan now, Ethan's nearly 18 so it's been a good few years so Natalia's doing the exact same as what Ethan used to do so I took Ethan to the doctors and they ended up thrown into a paediatrician and you know things like that and then the other paediatrician said to me is just give him what he, what he eats just because he just went through a stage of eating bread yeah, they basically said just kids won't him. starve themselves Bab babies won't starve themselves they'll eat when they're hungry yeah that's what he said, basically. You, you went, they'll, just get, they'll just get bored of eating the same and go on to something else. Yeah, that's what the paediatrician said at the um, Royal Children's Hospital, that children will eat <coughs> when they're hungry. Um, like, like I said, Natalia at the minute, I don't know, it's just like a little phase she's going through. Um, comment down below if you've been through it, guys, where she's just, she's not eating a full meal or even half a meal now. She's just, like I said, she's just had two nuggets. This morning, she wouldn't even eat a toast. <clears throat> um and for lunch she's just had two nuggets so yeah and then when I go to give her some more she goes no no so yeah I think it's just a little phase with her guys um I remember being, going through it with Ethan but Ethan's been our only one really aren't you but that's gone through this Ethan yeah. so we're not like we're going by what the paediatrician said to us a lot of years ago now because Ethan's nearly 18 um, so yeah if you got advice guys let me know like she does love fruit she eats a lot of fruit don't she she'll sit there and eat bananas and things like that um, but food at the minute I think it's just a phase I think it's just a rage we're going through a terrible twos at the minute quite early with her as well like the tantrums are coming and you know I think it might just be a rage isn't it getting a big girl now yeah but oh, yeah. I've not we've not been through this for a long time so oh dear oh dear um so yeah just throw your advice my way guys if you've gotten here um I don't think I need to take her to the doctors or anything because she is like she'll <coughs> eat some yogurts and things like that what's your fruit at it's just when it's coming to dinners and stuff like that so Yes, but so she's only just started doing that. She's only just yeah. I'd say the last couple of days with you. Yeah. But she does love pasta. Like uh Captain Iona the other day, you know, with her um, spaghetti bolognese. 
She ate the whole pasta. And last night, she ate noodles. She ate noodles. Because all the kids were noodles yesterday. And she ate, all, she, she ate the full bowl. I think it's just certain things with her at the minute. Do you know what I mean? Um, she doesn't like potatoes. Oh, she oh, hates never liked potatoes them. now. No, neither do John John Cody hate potatoes they cannot stand them if john joel sees well, when we're doing a sunday dinner he goes oh no not potatoes don't you yeah. oh, the younger three hate potatoes but the older ones love them all the other kids love them especially keegan keegan has seconds and thirds sometimes <laughs> <laughs> but anyway we've got to go shopping now guys i gotta get some food so the first stop is iceland and then we're going to do alda so we've got nothing in at all and i mean nothing guys um so yeah, I've got stuck up with some frozen food. So let's get to it somewhere. So I'm just sat in the car with me and baby girl. So we've done um, Alda. So we've done an Aldi shop. Um, Hubs is just sorting something out that he's got to sort out. <coughs> so I'm sat in the car so far. I'll speak to you guys. So yeah, I've done my Alda shop. So you'll have to tune in for that tomorrow, guys. So that'll be on tomorrow night to see if I got that bargain I got last week or if I went over so that will be on tomorrow at 6 I always say 6 and we end up putting it at half 6 because it takes so long to come on YouTube um, but yeah it'll be definitely on between tomorrow and set 6 and 7 so keep a look out for it guys to see if I went over budget from last week or I've stayed within budget for this week so keep an eye out for it guys um so yeah i'm just waiting i already said that i'm sat in the car bored on my own riley's gone with dad and it's just me and natalia and natalia's sleeping so i ain't even got nally to speak to because she's having a nap so yeah you know, people think what are you doing is she on facetime oh is she actually vlogging <laughs> Oh, bless the little cotton socks. I've just got the window open because it's raining, but it's quite um, warm. It's quite warm, to be honest with you. So I said to Hubs, leave the window open because I'm too hot. Plus, I've got this big cardi on as well, so. Anyway, it's nearly time to pick the boys up soon. So we've got to go home, um, drop the shopping off, and then go and get the boys. And then Isabella... Oh, yeah, got a nice coffee. Where is it? A nice coffee from Alda, 59p. So I got the Espresso Iced Coffee Espresso Match. I can never pronounce that word. I got this one. Delish. It's really good. So good. So good so good <laughs> so anyway guys you don't want to be me just sat here watching me so i'll catch you when we get home so guys it's coming to the end of our vlog um i'm so drained seriously i'm so drained but isabella wants to show you guys something that she's had um tattooed on her arm not a real tattoo guys it's What's it called again, Isabella? Henna. Henna. That's it. Henna tattoo. Celebrating. What is it you're celebrating again? Eid. Oh, celebrating Eid in school. So, she has a lovely pattern on her hands, guys. Let's see if the camera picks up. Look how beautiful that is. And it goes down your finger as well, doesn't it? Yeah. A little pinky. <laughs> Um, it looks really nice. And plus, guys, Nat uh, Natalia, not Natalia, Isabella's had a little bit of a flare up. I don't know if it's because, <clears> like, the change of the weather. Yes. Um, it's It ends up seasonal with Isabel. So she's had a bit of a flare up with your ex, man. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to get her appointment with the doctor because her cream is not working at the minute. But I think it's like a seasonal thing. Um, so. I think she's going to have to be started back on some antihistamine because it's coming to that time of year, you know. Summer's when it starts affecting you, yeah. isn't it, Bella? It starts affecting Isabella. Oh, what's going on with the camera? Have you got a bit blurry there? Uh, Do you want to come in a bit cold? Do you want me to move on? Yeah. 
Um, it starts affecting Isabel round about summertime. Um, she can get too hot. Yeah. Um, the grass affects it as well, doesn't it? The grass is yeah. terrible, forever. When I lie in the grass. Yeah, yeah. it sets your eczema off. But um, she's been putting a cream on the last two days. And it's not really been doing anything, has yeah. it? It's quite, it's gone, it's quite red and angry, to be honest with you. Um, but she did say because she goes swimming now. She did say that when she came home from swimming yesterday, that's when it started burning, didn't yeah. you? So I don't know if it could be the chlorine, but then she was fine last week, wasn't you? Yeah. It was last, because I asked if she was all right last week. Um, and she was all right. And when we went on all year last year, it never affected your skin either. No. Going swimming, did it? So, yeah, I'm going to keep an eye on that. But I think if it doesn't start, like, calming down... Um, I'm going to get an appointment with the doctor and see what the doctor says, why it's been angry at the minute. But like I said, she has seasonal eczema, so <coughs> it kicks off It kicks off seasonal. So, yeah, because last week it was like, beginning of this week was like, no, it was not the beginning. Last week was like warm, then it was raining, you know, the weather can't make its mind up, to be honest. I think. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, so she's just reading a book. Show the guys what you're reading, Isabel. So it's Harry and the dinosaurs go on holiday. Mm. Um, Riley's loving his hair. He's <laughs> loving his hair when his big brother comes home. Um, his big brother's gone been college, um, and he's gone to his mates to chill out for a bit tonight. Um, so when he comes home, he's going, "Why are you covering my hair?" Because <laughs> Riley's at that age now where is yeah, you like everything your brothers, older brothers have, don't you? Thinks he's sixteen. This one, guys, <laughs> I won't mind. But he's only um, he's only the eleven, aren't you? He's gonna be twelve next birthday, aren't you? Yeah. So it's gonna be twelve in May. You're gonna you're not ten till next year, yeah, is well. <laughs> Um. So yeah, we've got Cody's birthday. Well done for Cody's birthday. Um. All done and sorted. Um, so one of Riley's presents came today. Ooh, you get excited, Riley. Oh, yeah. Show I the guys your hair. Did you, did the guy put wax on your hair today? today yeah. Tonight, today? Yeah, Can we show the guys? It looks so smart. It looks so yeah. cute. You look cool. You're starting to look dead grown up in your face <laughs> when you've got your hair cut. You don't look much of a young boy. <laughs> you, you look like a proper, like, teenager nearly now. You've got another year until you're a teenager. I was 13 next year. You're going to be 13, Riley, what do you think? Yeah. That means you're a teenager for the first time. Mm-hmm. 13's when it starts as a teenager. Oh, yeah, that's when the attitude starts. <laughs> that's when the attitude starts. Well, do you know what? Nally's already got a little bit of an attitude. <laughs> and She's she asleep was, on couch. <laughs> and she was brushing the floor. Mm-hmm. She was. She was. She was. She's like a mug. <laughs> don't wake her up, Riley. Oh, don't wake her up. Oh, no. <laughs> You let her have the peace and quiet. She's got yogurt on her feet. Oh, yes, she's got chocolate yogurt on her feet. Today, I had a party that a minute. in school. Yeah. Because it was Eid celebrations. Yeah. There was a party. She's gay. So, uh, um, the guys who was doing the grow drums, they said uh, we're, we're allowed to go and do our own dances. And we, we all danced to the girls at the front, and then the boys were looking at us like, what are we doing? Because it was so fun. Well, yeah. that's it. You loved yeah. it. It's got to wear her own clothes. Um, are they sh- steel drums? Um, is it steel drums? Have yeah. you ever seen that? Drums. Yeah, the I big, think. like, silver. They look like a big, yeah. massive pan, and then you go, but then it's not a pan, obviously, it's still drums. But, you know, <laughs> oh, I remember when we used to do that. It's so fun. Oh, it is. And I, I used to love playing the steel drums. Oh, my yeah. days. Comment down below, guys, if you ever had a lesson in steel drums because I used to love it. But anyway, this vlog is going to be, I don't even know how long it is, guys. Um, but anyway, I'm going to end it here. So if you like this video, but comment down below if you did steel, yeah. steel, gr- dr- steel, grums, what? Steel, gr- dr- <laughs> yeah, steel drums. <laughs> I'm tired, guys. It's been an early one. It's an early one. Thank God it's Friday tomorrow. I can have a little bit of a sleep in on Saturday. Ooh, 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 Saturday. I can have a little bit of a sleep in instead of getting up at six. I can get up at eight. If I 
Ali lets me sleep that long. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we're going to love you and leave you out and we're going to have a nice, chilling weekend. It's going to be a chilled one because I'm starting to feel a bit exhausted, to be honest with you guys. I'm starting to feel a bit run down. Um, a bit of drain Ooh. I'm always on the go I never just I don't even know when's the last time I watched telly to be honest with you guys um, I'm just I'm all my, my brain's always overactive and thinking I need to do this I need to do that I need to do this I need to do it what am I like Bella I'm terrible <laughs> that yeah. I don't know it's just I need to cut like calm down woman come on come on you're draining yourself <laughs> chill you know that can wait just have some chill time come on now I know you guys are always telling me as well, just slow down and just breathe. <laughs> That's what I've got to learn today. I want, oh, oh someone's <laughs> destroying my kitchen. <laughs> um, I want to go and see the new Amy Winehouse movie, guys. I uh, can't wait. I want to go and see it. I hopefully see it this weekend, not probably next weekend. But seriously, I'm having a sleep in on Saturday. Because these early mornings, it's only been about... Well, it's the first week for you going back, second week for the younger boys. So, yeah, can't wait. Because the weekend, uh, hopefully Natalia lets me sleep till late. But anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you guys. We're going to go. So if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And we will see you in the next one. In the next one. I'm so tired. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye now. <laughs> bye -bye now.